and welcome back to the second segment of our show this morning. We're switching gears and now we're going to be discussing uh, tourism, all things destination Belize. As we mentioned earlier, it's all about the 20th edition of this publication. That being said, we have with us on set this morning, uh, Executive Director of the Belize Tourism Industry Association, John Burgos. Good morning. We also have with us the project manager for Destination Belize, none other than Gail Malik Ozaita. Good morning. Good morning. So we're discussing Destination Belize, and we have here a new publication. Talk to us about what's in here and what it took to, to get everyone on board for this edition of Destination Belize. Where do we start? <laughs> um, well, one of the first things we have to say is that we began the rebranding of the Destination Belize. Mm -hmm. As you can appreciate, we have two covers now. So, you know, we try to feature a little bit of everything in both covers. Um, this project um, began last year, in early last year, when, when we decided to, to you, you know what, we, know, we have been contracting a publisher to do all the work for us. I said, you know what, but we believe that its destination really should be represented more of what the industry really needs, what the, the direction of, of our marketing and promotion that is going to be focused globally. So we said, you know what, I believe that we can get a, a good project manager and we have a more direct say of what the content is going to be, what the, nations, the destinations are going to be featured. You know, let's, let's choose a theme and base the, the content of the theme. So, you know, we're very pleased that it, over a year and a half ago, we never did imagine how good it would come out. Uh, let me tell you, we only found out how good it was until last week, Wednesday, when we actually got the, the printed copies coming to the country, and that's when we presented the, the launch. Let, let's go back a little bit and talk about uh, the magazine in its original concept. What is the driving force behind it um, in terms of the target audience? Who is the focus for this uh, magazine? The target audience is potential visitors, international potential visitors. Anybody wanting to learn about Belize, planning to come to Belize, the magazine is catered to give them enough information to help them make their decision on where to go, who to stay with, who to travel with, and what to see when they're here. And that has been the whole focus of Destination Belize over the last 20 editions of it, including this one. Um, and we did not change focus on the type of content that would be featured. Instead, we decided to tie to a team. And many travelers today are traveling to learn about a new culture. They are going to, they're traveling internationally to learn about w the other countries and what they have to offer and what they feature. And um, so the theme ties in line right with that, roots and rhythms come to Belize to learn about our friendly people, our beautiful people, who we are, what we represent, what type of food we eat, um, the music we enjoy. Come and enjoy that. Learn about our roots, experience our roots. And when you're here, when they're here, they will go to whatever corner of the country that suits their rhythm. And that's why they play on the word, you're all rhythm. It's all rhythm. The waves, the song of the birds, the... Um, the music, it's all Belize. But when you come here, if you want to go diving, that's your rhythm. If you want to go um, in the mountains, listen to the birds, that's your rhythm. If you want to just do sit and relax at spa treatments, that's your rhythm. We, all ha we have it all here. And that's what the magazine is, f this edition is featuring. Now this has been a sort of a new venture for you guys in, in terms of taking it on in-house in -house. to produce mm -hmm. the magazine. What has that been like in terms of getting the buy-in of, of either writers and photographers, people that come together to compile Destination Beliefs? That part was not hard, mm -hmm. I must say. We re immediately when reaching out to the writers, they did not hesitate to say yes, and they, not, they did not question whether it was for monetary or not. Mm -hmm. They just did it. And, um, we feel proud about that because the magazine was written by mostly Belizeans mm -hmm. and one of the comments we've received so far is that the magazine feels very Belizean. You see our Belizean people, nobody hesitated to be photographed, to be models. It's all in their natural state. Mm -hmm. um, the photographers who contributed, we did do a share your best shot um, competition mm -hmm. and we do feature one of the photos from that competition in the magazine um, contributed by Jody Miller. So. 
we do have different photographers, but we did have, we did hire one main photographer, um, Jamil Lascott. He was the creative director of the magazine. He put together, he designed all the pages, but he also took the photos. And for the first time, BTIA owns photos. <laughs> so that's a plus plus for us, right? Um, but um, in putting together the magazine and getting the content, that wasn't hard and we appreciate everybody's contribution. We do have a page in there that lists uh, most of those who contributed to the magazine, who they are and who they represent. And we will be featuring everyone through our social media platforms and the website. Additional stories that were not be that did not make the print will make the online. Now, cultural tourism is the direction that many people are going. going. Uh, mm -hmm. People are looking for connections. How much of that you think uh, you all were able to capture in the rhythm and the roots of this uh, magazine? Um, I mean, just look at the just look at one of the covers that we have, and you can look at some of the headings that we have. Preserving heritage, dancing to the marim and the power of the steel pan. We have various articles that are going to be featuring that experience. You know, we have a, a, some exceptional articles about it. Like one that really stands out for me that I, made me learn a lot about Belize. You know, I feel a little bit ashamed to say that because as a Belizean, you, know, you would expect to know about this stuff. You know, um, the battle of the drums. You know, the, the how it got started, the, the way structure. Um, I mean, that that's can't get more Belizean than, than that. You know. Um, and right now, having the, the Maya the Maya heritage bringing a bounce back and bringing the marimba, bringing the, the traditional dances that we have, the fireball game, the pop the pop game. I mean, this is something that is growing. Um, another thing that we have to really highlight also is that we are the world champ of the pop the pop competition. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes places every two years. Um, Belize is the champion for the last two editions. Um, they're scheduled to go to the championship next year in El Salvador. Um, so, you know, I mean, so Belize is, is out there already. Um, we have been known a lot for our beach and keys, you know, Isla Bonita and uh, everything that encompasses beach and sand and sea. Um, but we, are, we wanted to ensure that we, there's so much more. Your rhythm is beach and sand, yes, that's fine, that's great, but you know what, we have waterfalls, we have cave systems, you know, you can do zip lining. Um, and the travelers right now, is, their focus is experience. It's not really about how pretty the place looks, you know, it's not only about that. It's about the experience they're going to get. That's why you see some of the, the, so the online platforms um, provide that experience. You know, you have the Airbnb. They yeah. say, I don't want to stay in a traditional hotel with 100 other tourists. I want to go to the little house down the street where I'm going to get to know what the local food is all about, what the local music is all about. And the res we, we have received feedback from the, from the tourists that leave Belize. One of the the key things that they tell you that they love about Belize is the people. So we wanted to say, you know what, what's best to the, about the people that we can say? So we gotta focus on the roots and the real, which is Belizean people. You know, we have a lot of activities. We are more than welcoming to anybody that comes to Belize. Um, we're willing to open our doors and share some of our heritage and that, and that good Belizean flavor that leaves a very good taste in tourist you know, mouth, you know? I, I want to jump in and, and, and ask another question because we talk about the, the roots of this magazine itself. But you also, also um, mentioned that you know, there are things that you discovered while reading it. There's so much that we as Belizeans take for granted that mm -hmm. other people know about Belize because they live here. Do you also target as a secondary audience Belizeans and would you encourage them to actually take the time to read it online or in a physical copy if they go to a hotel and it's there or where it's available? I would say we did because one of the goals in putting together this edition was to find what's new. Find um, what we ourselves have not experienced before. Um, showcase what's current because you will read other editions and you will read about the steel pan in there. But somebody else may have not seen that edition and may not know about the steel pan, local. And this edition brings it back. And other editions have in some shape or form featured the cultures of Belize. In this edition, we feature seven cultures, the Chinese included. So it does give us, the Belizeans, the opportunity to pick up the book and learn something, social studies, geography, 
just look at the map featured in the magazine. It's now a fold out map and it's perforated for the first time. So anybody who wants a map of Belize, they can rip, take it out. But well, take the magazine with you too, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. um, and the map does um, highlight one very unique feature. Fold it right there, um, William. Um, it does feature the World Heritage yeah. Sites of Belize. So that's something different and new. And we're very proud of being able to put this map together just to highlight everything that we may take for granted. Oh, I know about that already, yeah. but others don't. You can't take for granted that everybody does. In respect of the seven cultures that you mentioned mm -hmm. are featured in this publication, what was the reception like? I know, I know that the Garifuna culture is one of them that is out there, so mm -hmm. there shouldn't necessarily be a problem in terms of getting people to discuss and share. Mm -hmm. But in terms of the other cultures of Belize, what was it like um, getting them to come on board and, and be able to divulge certain aspects of who these people are and what have you? Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to, for a couple of the cultures, able to get to a direct response from someone within that culture. Mm -hmm. We did try, um, but we worked with Niche, and Niche assisted us in being able to put together the content for those cultures. Yeah. But we did go out to capture the photos and the videos, and. The Mennonite community, for example, they gave us permission to do that and to use what, what we took, how we wish to. And we promised to do it only for destination Belize purposes, right? Um, the Chinese community, they, it was the president of the Chinese Association, Ed Bon Kwan, who wrote the article and provided the photos for that article. So they were very receptive to the whole idea of featuring those, the, their cultures in the magazine. When you undertake such a, a thing as intimate for people as documenting um, something about their ethnic mm -hmm. um, origin. How do you ensure that there's a equality of sorts spread across all the, um, the groups as you try to document um, some of their uh, traditions and their way of life? One of the th first things that we looked at when we were beginning to look at the layout, what is going to be the layout of the magazine and the content. We wanted to have representation of the destinations first, uh, even representation of all the destinations, you know, from Corozal to Cayo to, to Toledo. So the, the second step was, you know, we need content about the, we, ca we cannot leave out any one of the major ethnic groups in Belize. We're going to feature them. And if you, the last, unfortunately, the last census of Belize was in 2010. The next one is scheduled for 2020. So if you look at the numbers in 2010, it shows very small figures on some of them, like for the Chinese community, it's got about 4,000. I'm certain that in the last eight years, that has either doubled or maybe even higher. Mm -hmm. I mean, you see these the stores, they're everywhere. I mean, they, they feed the nation, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, and the same thing with the Mennonite community. You know, you have different Mennonite communities already securing lands in different areas of the country. So they are expanding, they're, they are growing. Um, their numbers are growing. So, we, we ensure that we got everyone included. So if you, f if you look at the, at the heading, at the table of content, yeah. you will see that we have all the major des um, ethnic groups properly featured on the Immerse, you know, because that's what we wanted to feature. So we have the Garifuna, they have the Creole, we have the Mennonite, we have the Chinese, we have the East Indian. You cannot forget the East Indian. Um, you know, the my, in my MST, so we have everybody. To add to that, though, um, we do <coughs> recognize there, there are many more cultures in yeah. Belize. We are a melting pot of cultures. And while it's not featured in the print, we will do our best and make sure we can do, do it through the online edition. Speak of the to magazine. us about the online, the, the online um, <coughs> aspect of, of promoting Belize through the Destination Belize Media. So we want to, the magazine has always been just a book. Mm -hmm. And uh, a book goes only so far. Just it's please. estimated that 50,000 copies, we will get over 125,000 readers yeah. to that. Um, the, <coughs> the online is intended to increase, get more people aware about Belize. And we will do that through sharing additional photographs that are not included, video, bringing to life a lot of the um, stories featured in the magazine. 
we have a video of how to make the drums. We already um, we have the, the entire pop to pop presentation um, that we will be sharing. So bringing it to life, it's more than just words and print. And um, the online is also geared at creating, giving our advertisers more access to those who want to come to Belize. So it's a direct link from our website to their whatever website or landing page they desire for a visitor to go to. But it's to create greater access to the destination and to all featured in the magazine. The, the other goal also is that it's a two-year um, publication. Mm -hmm. So the next edition is going to come out in 2020. So we don't want to have a, a gap between that. So the website is we're going to be featuring new material yeah. about destinations in Belize, new highlights, you know, uh, when we have events, you know, the Ma Ruta Maya or any events next year, we're going to be featuring that and updating information so that the, we keep engaging the viewers globally. Um, we're going to be investing a lot of resources <coughs> on the search engine optimization. We're going to be focusing on specific countries wh whom we believe we're going to be able to target. The other beautiful thing too that we're going to be doing with a magazine is that we, we you will have the and uh, digital versions available. And for the first time also, we have the Spanish Edition. version of the magazine available. Right. So we're looking forward to, to seeing how that is gonna play out with the Latin American market. We're looking at Mexico, Central America, South America, Spain. Um, I know Aeromexico coming on board, Corporate Alliance just mm -hmm. initiating the flights to Belize. So they're they are more than ready to receive more material in Spanish that they can use to reach out to those, um, those populations. Now, you said this has been a year and a half in the making. How has it transformed or morphed and evolved over that time um, from what you conceptualized to what was actually, um, you know, in print now? I must say we had a very good team. Um, and uh, a good team, an excellent team, can make anything happen. We call ourselves the dream team. <laughs> So we couldn't have done it without um, our chief editor, um, Lebowit Lille Girma. She worked on the 2016-2017 edition, and we said we had to bring her on board, and she was on board from the very beginning, right up until now. And fortunately, she was in Belize when we did the launch, so we were happy to have her, her there. Um, Jamil Loscott, he, he has the eye for creativity. He knows exactly what to put where and how to take the best shot, and you can see it on the covers. I mean, when we unveiled these covers, it was like, ah, oh, in the room. It was so, um, it was so beautiful to experience that. Um, and I want, it, it was a journey. It was a very good journey, a very good learning experience for all of us. Um, we learned that you, you can set deadlines, but you have to know how to be able to set another and another and another. <laughs> Um, and uh, we respect everyone's contribution. Everybody, we're all busy. So, but it, 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 we wish we could have had it earlier, but it launched when it needed to be launched. And we are very proud of the publication. I mean, looking back now, like I told Gail, um, just last night was the time that I took to really observe what has happened over the last week. Um, you know, and we sometimes, like I told them, sometimes you have to climb mountains. Sometimes in this magazine, I learn that you sometimes you have to even move the mountains to get what you want accomplished. Um, but it's, it's, it's all about having the right core of people together, coming together and knowing what it is that we want. I mean, and we, we pull each other back and forth in different directions, you know, but end of the day, we always found the, the right balance yeah. to, and, and I think that is reflected on the magazine. Um, we all love Belize, I mean, to the, to the core. We, we all know, and I think now we have a lot of love and respect for each other as well as to what we brought to the magazine. And the good thing that we're looking forward to now is that we, we're going to keep the, the main core together for the next edition because I think we have to have that continuity so that it can continue to grow and evolve into, into something bigger and better every edition. You know, this is our 20th edition, so we, uh, if you look at the technology we use this mean we're looking at one of the latest, most latest technology uh, in terms of print magazine. This is what I call a foil effect that you can see on the, on the, on the destination Belize name and the theme. Um, for the viewers, I encourage you to take the time to maybe drop by our office and maybe you can appreciate what we mean. Uh, uh, 
and, and tell them we have to do something that's 20th anniversary <laughs> word thing. Yeah. You and know? it's a free publication. It's free to everyone who wishes to have a copy. It's not for sale. And we are making the e-versions downloadable as well. So. Yes. So you can visit the Rel Destination Release.com website. You can already access the, both the, the two covers. And you can also have access to a little video that really captures the, the journey that we took. And you know, so that you can appreciate a little bit more of what we went through. Final question um, before we wrap, because uh, the decision to have two covers, why, why go that route? It was something that was started with the 2016-2017 edition. And for this edition, um, we did not want to change to, because of the theme. We wanted a cover to feature roots, and we wanted a cover to feature rhythms. So we decided that let's do the two covers, and that's something we will continue to do. We can't forget our, our inland, and we can't forget our sea. And you know, yeah. it, 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 sometimes you do a collage and a cover, but a collage isn't always the best idea. So let's just do two. It's best. Yeah, and you can see it work. I mean, you can see it works. <laughs> I mean, if you're in the Keys, you will <laughs> be inclined to look at this one. If you're inland, you'll be inclined to look at this one. You know, But if you have access to both of them, I mean, you can appreciate that both of them are really really capture the essence of what Belize has to offer because I always tell people that Belize is very unique compared to all the countries that are in Central America and surrounds so even the Caribbean we have everything everything you can look for inland everything you can look up on this on the sea you know sports fishing <coughs> diving, snorkeling um, other water sports inland you have the archaeological sites you know we are part of this whole Mayan history we have about 200 um, archaeological sites that have been this, uh, that are, are registered. Um, we have the waterfalls, we have the cave systems. I mean, you had Mr. Rafael Manzanero. He wrote a really great article about the Chiqui Bull. They have just recently, earlier this year, rediscovered a new set of caves, you know? So there's so much to release. I mean, you don't even get me started on Toledo, because okay. Toledo is still has so much that yeah. we are yet to discover, yet to get to recognize and appreciate. So I think that we did a, the covers capture that. The magazine could have been 260 pages, but we decided to leave it on <laughs> 130, yes. right? Yes. There's more. <laughs> There's, more. Yeah. There's more. All right. Well, um, if people want a, a copy and they're anywhere, how, how can they um, get a copy? So a they can copy? visit the BTIA office in Belize City. We do have four tourism information centers countrywide, Orange Walk, Placencia, Dangriga, and Toledo. They can get a copy at those information centers. Belize Tourism Board is also a main distributor of the magazine. They distribute it at all their um, kiosks, the border points uh, inside the tourism village, and they will be the main distributor for international as well. We are also doing um, direct mailing internationally, internationally mail at destinationbelize.com. Send us your address and we'll get you the magazine. Yes. The other key thing that you need to know also is that this is a BTA production. So all BTA members get a copy. Yes. So we encourage you, if you're not a member of the BTA, become a member of the BTA. And then you, we have to give you one name, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we want to thank you both for joining us. And uh, of course, um, beautiful magazine. Um, job well done. And I think a year and a half pales in comparison now, oh, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you for you. joining us. Thank you thank guys you. for having us. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and when we come back, it'll be to meet uh, some winners from the uh, Belize City Primary School History and Social Studies competition. Don't go anywhere. Open your eyes. Continues after these messages. <laughs> 